the workout. As you can hear, my voice is probably no better. I completely went this morning, so that's why the sign I had wrote it out at the beginning. Also, I managed to mess up the days of um, what episode I was on again, even though it's the date of the day. So, yesterday I thought it was, a, I've been writing the 23rd of May down yesterday all day, part of my job. Still managed to mess it up and go to tw uh, episode 22. So, that's just the start. Um, I hope you don't mind my voice like this if you do. Sorry, there's not really much I can do. I'm gonna try and talk not very much, but while I've got my voice at the moment, I'm gonna talk a little bit. So, the workout today, because obviously I'm not feeling so great, I didn't do much cardio. Um, I know that my my lung capacity will be small at the moment, so I wanted to try and get as much in as I could. I decided to start off with show, um, medial delts and rear delts, mainly rear delts, and, well, actually mainly medial, to be fair. Um, just because I haven't been given them a lot of love recently, so I thought I'd do that, get them sorted. Uh, I felt like I got a really good pump. My shoulders don't need much, like in the sense of work to get the, to make them grow. But you got to do them. Make sure you hit them hard now and again. Squats wise, started off with um, flat uh, normal bar with 12 reps. I don't like going much more than 12 reps because my form starts to shake a little bit. So 12 reps with just bar, 12 reps for 60, and five of five on 100. Um, it didn't go any heavier, um, but I wanted to make sure that my form was consistent. Um, I've also found out, I like, found a way to make sure my form's exactly the same. One thing with lifting heavy ass weight is to make sure that you set up the same way, so that when you do go for your new PR, or PV, whatever you want to call it, your body doesn't think you're doing anything stupid. So for example me, I put, you saw me do it slowly on, I think it was the last set, um, put my look, put my shoulders in the place where I want it, move my feet forward, explode off the bar, um, off the rack, sorry, and come up, set my heels into the ground, not my feet, my heels, because that's where I want to target my weight to go, so I set my heels into the ground, then stomach tight keep my keep my core really tight lower back as well then go down into the lift now i set up all the, all that mainly for routine as i say but i know that's how i'm going to keep myself safe and not hurt myself so that's something key about it now i tried the trap bar for straight legged deadlifts and oh my god that is a fantastic exercise if you have a trap bar at your gym definitely give it a go it enables you to go all the way down to the ground and then lift up off of there because it's a little bit higher off the ground so definitely give that one a shot i just tried it out for interest today and damn it was such a good um such a good exercise but anyway i'm gonna go because my throat's beginning to go so i'll speak to you guys maybe a bit later maybe tomorrow we'll see what happens <laughs> save my throat um actually my voice sounds okay but i was gonna say as you can tell my voice isn't much better but I guess just because I've had a glass of water, so it'll probably change throughout this video. So when it does, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have a good laugh of it in the comments. I'm not going to be that arsed. But anyway, um, I placed a muscle food order today, which basically, if you don't know what muscle food is, is where you can buy a load of healthy foods. Well, I say healthy, majority healthy. Um, some of them are just high protein. So if you're bulking high protein pizzas and things like that. They're all there, they're all available. <clears throat> I'm not sponsored by them, don't worry, I'm just, I give credit where credit's due. Um, basically, I placed a muscle food order today. Now, I wouldn't have probably done this because I went shopping Saturday, but what happened was, is I got a text from them. Now, I got a text saying, use CB free, it has F-R-E-E, -E, and get 2.5 kilos of chicken for free. I was like, wait, no, no. Obviously, there's there's always a catch for something. I was fully expecting that. But they do cartons of egg whites. So they said, okay, your order has to be over X amount to purchase, to get these delivered to you. I was like, okay, that's fair enough. You know, you're giving me like 20 quid's worth of food anyway for free. I don't mind paying 20 odd quid. So I got six cartons of egg whites for, I think it was 20... 22 pounds, maybe 18 pounds, which will last me ages. So that's a litre car on each, so that's six litres of eggs. That's great. Um, 
so you don't have to worry about all this rubbish. Now the only catch with that again is that in the past I've had these cartons and they have to be used up in four days. So a litre, I usually roughly have about 200 to 250 mils of egg whites from doing six eggs. So it works out that I'm going to be having 250 a day, which is good. It means it's consistent. Um, less time in the mornings as well. So that'll be all good. Now what I also did manage to get is some Quest Bars that were on... Um, on offer now if you guys don't know what quest bars are they're the king of protein bars i swear to you now i was gonna be blasphemic word probably not <laughs> screw it um but i swear to you now even if you're not on a diet or any protein or thing or anything like that and you just bumped across this video go find a quest bar they're a little bit expensive but go find a damn quest bar you will not regret your decision they taste so good um my personal favorite is the cookie dough or the white chocolate and raspberry but you can hear by the names that they're, they're pretty good you got chocolate brownie you got all sorts oreo ones i got the mint chocolate Choc chip, choc brownie, something mint and chocolate, something. I'll find out on Friday. That's when it gets delivered. Um, but they were down from twenty-two pounds for a box to, I believe it's fifteen or eighteen pounds. So I got myself a box of those as well as a treat because they're just handy to have. The calories are spot on for what I want: low fat, reasonable carb, high protein. Just have them in the bag. If you do get to the stage where you're like, actually, crap, I need to eat, I have no food. Because um, as you know, fitness is all about the right nutrition and the right timing. I preach that in a, quite a few of my videos where I'm saying, do you know what? The right timing is important, but get making sure you have your food and you're not hungry, but you're staying under your macros or over your macros or whatever the hell you're doing is vital. So having a Quest Bar in your bag, they're a little bit expensive, but having one in your bag is so 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 good because you can just sort of go on the bus or something you know it's good calories you know it's sort of designed for what you want on the bus walking you can just swap it out no one looks at you strange you're not eating a full-blown meal um, it's just something to keep you topped up until you can get to that place it's almost like having an oil can in the back of your car um, having a petrol can or an oil can whatever you want to call it in the back of your car ready for in case you run out of petrol. Basically that's what a quest bar is to me. So definitely go check them out. Um, now a lot of people when ordering stuff or buying stuff will not add their actual email address or their actual phone number. In this case definitely do. I will show you now of what, um, sorry that looked a bit weird, but I will show you just now all the text messages I get from Muscle Food saying this is an offer, this is an offer. So here we go. So I get one roughly maybe once a week. So <clears throat> I'll show you now. So these are all different offers, all different offers, all different offers. And a lot like, so here we go. We've got the first and last time free 2.5 kg chicken breast when you order. Use that code at checkout. I don't know if I'm allowed to disclose that. Um, evening you have until midnight to nab five packs of extra lean statements for 95p each. Um, what's the next one? You'll love this sublime barbecue hamper with pulled pork, pulled beef and pulled pork, just ten pounds for the first three hundred and fifty customers. The list goes on. It's fantastic. Definitely get over to there now and go check it out. Um, as I say, this isn't endorsed by law. I'd have to say this is sponsored um, when doing it. I found that out today actually. Um, a guy called Syndicate who I sort of have known through gaming, so I've. What, still watches YouTube videos now even though I'm not really into gaming but he posted it today I'll show you the exact tweet actually um, it was quite interesting I didn't know that was actually a thing so bear with me while Twitter loads up I'm going to put a shameless plug in here actually if you guys want to follow me on Twitter it's at IIGPS so um, shameless plug but yeah here we go this is what he said if you can see it wait for it to focus focus Focus. Okay, I'm give up on that. It says, if a company sponsors me to promote something, I legally have to verbally disclose it in the video. If I don't say it's sponsored, it isn't. I thought, do you know what? That's fantastic information because you see a lot of people saying, um, oh, this company's great, this company's great. 
and you think, actually, do you know what? I'm not sure if they're told to do that or the company's actually great. So that's fantastic to know. So anytime I watch out for a um, YouTuber now that pops up or does something saying, oh, go to muscle food, I'll be like, actually, do I? Do I have to? Um, is it actually worth my while? Um, anyway, moving on. I, go, I had just had a healthy bacon sandwich. Now, for any of you guys that think, how the hell have you done that? Seriously, all I did, the gluten-free bread that I was talking about the other day, I had four slices of that, four slices, four rashes of turkey bacon, and I've still got a load of macros left. I will read out how many macros I have left after that. Bear in mind, my macros are getting lower and lower. So 33 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat left and 3 grams of protein along with 128 calories. I've also got some fish in the oven, some bassa fish which is a, a type of catfish that you can get from Morrison's. Tastes really good. Um, not too fishy so you can add flavourings to it and it doesn't make it taste weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to apologise as well for messing up the days yesterday. Um, is episode 24 here, 23, da, da, da. My MacBook is due here on Friday, so hopefully I can start getting edit, uh, get editing videos then. My first priority is my finances, but that shouldn't take me five minutes. Hopefully I can, um, I can get to grips with Final Cut Pro straight off the bat, but we'll see how well that goes. I've been watching a few tutorials, as I said. Um, hopefully it doesn't go too badly. So give me a few weeks to adjust to it and see what I can do. Anyway, this has been episode, I'm going to get it right, 24. And I will speak to you guys tomorrow for chest and tries. Tomorrow we're going to be focusing on fly movements along with dumbbell bench press. Um, and the inner head of the tricep, I can't remember, I must Google that name. Um, the inner head of the tricep, so it's more push and move, making sure you keep your hands that way. That way? Yeah, that way to incorporate the inner head, that way to incorporate the outer head, as a, I think I've said that before, not sure, can't help to tell you twice, can't hurt, not help, anyway, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow morning.